All right, thanks, Kelly. Well, looking ahead to this Friday and Saturday, live music takes over the Colwood Golf Center for the Vanport Jazz Festival. I'll be emceeing the event on Saturday, uh, but the popular summer celebration is more than just a party with great music. It's a two day festival and it also pays tribute to Portland's past. So joining us in studio right now, James Taylor, founder and executive producer of the Vanport Jazz Festival. Good morning. Good morning, Emily and Ken. Thanks yeah. for being here. Thanks for being here. Uh, why did you create this event? What's the, what's the history of the Vanport Jazz Festival? Well, the history of the festival is really to pay homage to the city of Vanport. And growing up here in Oregon during my college years, jazz at that time was pretty vibrant. And then all of a sudden, Mount Hood Jazz Festival died. Jazz seemed to have died as well. And so I wanted to start a jazz festival. And what better place to start it than Oregon? But the city of Vanport was the roots because out of the city of Vanport came a lot of jazz musicians, a lot of jazz clubs, a lot of jazz artists came to Portland during the 40s and 50s. But the Vanport Jazz Fest was really to pay homage and to basically rebirth the jazz scene in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're seeing uh, we were seeing some video there while you were talking of the Vanport flood, this historic flood that really wiped out the community of Vanport. And uh, that that's something that even a lot of Portlanders today maybe don't know so much about. What are some of the ways that the festival is able to share that story with people? Well, we have um, people coming to the festival that were residents of the city of Vanport. They will be on stage telling their story. We have exhibits throughout the festival where people can come and see pictures of what the city looked like mm -hmm. during its heyday. They can see the city as it flooded. They can see the residents as they left the city of Vanport. And so we just want to basically be able to show an illustration of what that city looked like. Now, the Vanport Jazz Festival has become very popular. It started as a one-day event just yes. on Saturday. Now it's a two-day event. And you got some of the top uh, jazz and, and R&B artists uh, in the world who come to this festival every year. Uh, still amazed that you're able to get them all to come here to play <laughs> here in Portland. But uh, just talk about who's coming this year. Well, on Friday night, we have um, international saxophonist Mike Phillips. And Mike was born in Philadelphia but married a woman from Portland, Kara Stoudemire. And so he is coming to the festival on Friday night. He's opening up. And then on that same evening, we have international R&B artist Joe, who will be closing the show down. And then on Saturday, it's an all-day affair. We've got saxophonist Boney James, average white band. We've got uh, Gandhi Ghanian, you know, bread, you know, singer Goapale. We've got uh, 13 time Billboard number one artist, Adam Holly, and we've got bassist Julian Vaughn. Mm -hmm. Great lineup as, as always. Uh, just talk about the feedback that you've gotten since you started this festival. How many years is it now? This is our sixth year. Sixth <laughs> year, and uh, it, it seems to have grown exponentially every year. Just talk about the feedback you've gotten from the public about this festival. Well, I mean, I think it's something that they're hungry for. As I said earlier, the jazz scene in Oregon really kind of died down. And so fans from all over the Northwest are excited to come to the festival year after year. We probably have, oh, 40% of our audience comes from the Seattle market. Mm -hmm. We've got another 10% that comes from places like Phoenix, Arizona, you know, California, Nevada, uh -huh. all over. But people primarily say that the festival is a reunion. Hmm. It's a reunion-like feel. They come and they see people that they haven't seen for decades. And so that's really the vibe that I get is that they love coming to the festival. It's a reunion for them. They love coming and taking part in the merchant village where we have approximately 20 food and merchandise vendors. They love the just the culture itself. It's a festival for everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might have a few extra folks from Phoenix coming up here trying to cool off this year. We'll see. Uh, so it's Friday and Saturday, we mentioned. How can people get tickets? What do they need to know to plan their day? Well, I think um, to plan your day, it's going to be a hot day. Yeah. And so dress cool. We'll have plenty of water, plenty of things to keep you shaded, if you will. But for tickets, go to VanportJazzFestival.com. 
You can also get tickets on Coin Six's website. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of tickets left, so please come on out and enjoy yourself. Yeah, definitely so. Vanport Jazz Festival founder James Taylor. Uh, appreciate the preview, and I look forward to seeing you out there on uh, Saturday. Thanks, Ken. All right, sounds All good. Right. Thanks, Great Emily. to have you here, James. And again, you can go to coin.com for all the info. Mark your calendars. The festival happening this Friday, August 4th, Saturday, August 5th at the Colwood Golf Center in Northeast Columbia Boulevard. That uh, link again to tickets, it's vanportjazzfestival.com or you can check it out on coin.com. It is 740 and up next on AI.